Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Jumpin' here. This is gonna be a Mass Effect 3 gameplay commentary. Uh, today, I'm gonna be using the Drell Vanguard. I had a lot of uh, comments. Um, well, the majority of the comments that I counted mainly focused on Drells in general, and uh, the Vanguard got the more of the votes. So I decided to go ahead and use it. Um, now, the one thing about the Drell Vanguard is I personally think that he's probably the worst Vanguard character in the game. Um, I mean, I don't really know. Like, I don't know. He's not that bad, but, um... Now, right here, I'm gonna be putting on a Viper. I like to actually run around and just quick scope with him, but I'm not gonna be doing that for the gameplay, because, um, I tried that, and I epically failed with it. Um, I used to be able to do it quite well, but I, for the entertainment purposes for the video, I thought, I don't wanna be failing. Alright, so let's go ahead and set up our charge. Uh, you should always get the radius on the first one. Now, either one of those two are okay, but I'd say go for the power synergy and always go for the barrier. Uh, that way, it will fully recharge his barriers. Now, the thing that doesn't make him, the thing that makes him not so good, is that the fact that he has such low health and barriers. And then for their cluster nades, go for radius, go for max nades, and finally shrapnel. Now, um, he does have decent health, but his barriers are so stupid low that it's really kind of hard to be a vanguard with him. Uh, that's why I don't really think he's that great. And then finally do your fitness. Go for pretty much all shields. Um, that's basically the best thing to do for almost every character. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And obviously, I was, I'm just showing you once again what I picked, just in case you didn't get to see it. Um, you know, there you go again. Uh, shrapnel is definitely the better way, because you just get to throw three three nades. And, um, yeah, the whole, fo the whole point of this character is going to be pretty much just a Russian and Chuck nades. Uh, you could set them up different, like I've seen, I've heard of people not putting points in the charge, um, but me personally, I think that, um, he's better when, cause like, the thing about cluster nades is they really are meant to be close range only, um, so that's the beauty of, like, the Drill Vanguard is that you can really focus on that, and don't worry about any of this stuff, like, this was totally, like, pointless, like, cause like I said, um, you know. Alright, so this is gonna be the gameplay right here. I'm gonna be playing. I'm gonna be using the Excavator shotgun, um, a great shotgun, definitely one of the better ones that I have. Probably the best one I have right now. Like, at least it's my favorite. Um, uh, now, the, now the thing about this map that I chose was was Ghost. Is that the reason why we chose this map, or I chose this map, was because uh, this map is kind of like glitched or just really broken. Um, you know, this is uh, I believe Silver difficulty. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's definitely Silver difficulty. And um, the thing that makes this map great is that when you play on this map, this is the only map that every time you go to an ammo box for some reason, uh, you get a, uh, you actually get two nades um, out of all the ammo boxes. So that's actually like extremely, extremely good. The the ability to go ahead and get the two nades, because you'll see it right. Well, actually, I only got one nade, but you will see throughout this gameplay of me getting two nades. And I mean, because like this guy's all about getting the nades. Um, my teammates right now for this game. Um, is one guy who I think is a random, and the other one is uh, gonna be my buddy Snide. He's gonna be playing as a drill of death. These two, I wouldn't say they work super well together, but they do work somewhat well together. You know, the drill of death can read things, and I can charge it, and uh, just kind of mess it up. But I really think that out of all the characters, like uh, Vanguard wise, the drill is definitely the one that needs to be focused around uh, using his shotgun or using a shotgun in general. Um, he does get better weight capacity than. Um, the other two than the human and the sorry so I believe with this shotgun um, at 10 now because this shotgun is at 10 uh, I have 185 percent recharge speed so that's pretty good um, other characters normally get about I think with this shotgun 170 percent so that the only thing I can think of is that he definitely has some type of upgraded weight capacity but yeah it's really going to be the name he's going to do towards the damage and the other thing that's going to make this guy really super good is having the extra thermal um, thermal clips, um, if you have unlocked any of those. I mean, if, if you have five thermal clips, you're talking about a retarded amount of um, grenades that you can have. That's a fi total of 15 extra nades uh, at any point that you want it. You know, any type of dire situation, you can just sit there and just spam nades until you're out of that situation. Um, so that's a really good plus for him, so if you have thermal clips, I highly recommend playing with nade characters. The majority of people, I, I think a lot of people don't know that thermal clips actually will refill your nades. Um, that's really the best thing they do. I mean, sometimes they're always, they're always.
is good because um, <clears throat> they're always good. You know, because like they um, they do work in the sense that you know if you need ammo and you can't get an ammo box, you can always use them as well. But it's really the nade thing that makes it super super good. Uh, so any nade care they're in the game, you know, maybe Krogan Soldier with Infernal Nades, or Drells with the Cluster Nades, or the Asari with the Lift Nade, or whatever it is, Frag Nade from the Soldier, uh, if you have the extra Thermal Clips, you know, you should definitely do them, like, definitely play with those characters more often if you have five, especially. So this is something to keep in mind, guys, and then, like I said, the other great thing is to play on, if you're gonna use nade characters, play on this map. Because right now, it's gonna be me and Snide, he's gonna have Cluster Nades as well. And one of the biggest problems I feel in this game is that if you're trying to play on silver or gold, uh, because you only get the one nade out of the, the box, if you have multiple characters using grenades, it definitely is a just a bad idea. Like, you just want to avoid that at all costs because the majority of the game, you're not going to have nades. And this guy has to have his nades. If you want to use them like I use them, where I charge in and chuck a nade, you have to have nades. You know, it won't work otherwise, you know, because he just dies too quick and I, I believe in this game I'm gonna actually go down quite a bit um, you know around the end especially because he's really weak he's a really weak character um, in, the, in, in the sense of um, shields I mean you charge in and you get shot it's like a two seconds you're down um, at times but the main thing that uh, will happen to this guy is uh, his biggest enemy against servers especially is gonna be the turrets those turrets will just obliterate you. And once in the later waves when the turrets are become heavy, that's when this guy kind of starts to fail somewhat. It's not like too bad, but you know, it still is pretty decent gameplay. But <clears throat> the best vanguard in the game is hands down the human. Um, there's no question about that. The, the Nova is probably one of the best powers, if not the best thing they added to Mass Effect. It's so stupid and so broken and everything you can imagine. Um, I hate playing with uh, vanguards, to be honest. Like um, a good vanguard, that is. Because the majority of vanguards you see online, and that was a pretty ridiculous cost you made right there. But um, you know, the majority of vanguards you see online, that they just don't play it right. If you're gonna play with a vanguard, a human at least, do not use two weapons and do not use a shotgun. <laughs> I mean, if you had like a level 10. Excavator or a level 10 Katana or Scimitar, maybe. But if you, you know, something that's going to still have a decent amount of recharge speed, that's fine. But if you're running around with a Vanguard and you have a Sniper and a Shotgun and you have like the Claymore, and I've seen this before, it blows my mind. Uh, the Widow and the Claymore on a Vanguard, yeah, you know, that's not the way you want to play with them. You want to be able to spam your powers and be able to just, you know, be a absolute slayer. That's really the mindset of a vanguard is that you are the absolute slayer. No one else should beat you out in like experience when you play as a vanguard. And uh, when I play as a vanguard, it's absolute a human vanguard that is it's absolutely ridiculous. So I mean, if you guys want to see that, you know, leave me a comment. Let me know because uh, it can be pretty entertaining. And but I personally, I don't even know if I would want to do that because if I could show people how to really play with a vanguard, there's gonna be a lot of pissed off people because <laughs> I piss a lot of people off when I play with vanguard. It's kind of just, um, you know, it, it's not very teamy. You know, it's it's more just I'm gonna go in and kill everything, and you're gonna be picking me up when I die. Because vanguards do go down a lot. There is no, you know, there is no way for a vanguard not to go down sometimes because you know if you rush into a big crowd of people. Uh, you know, with the, especially with Skrull, you know, I only have so many cluster nades, and if I miss my cluster nade, I'm gonna go down. And with the human, uh, you know, it just happens as well sometimes, you know, it's a, it's, it's a lot less likely for the human to go down. Um, <clears throat> as crazy as that might sound, because of course you have Nova, which is great in the shield, but Nova's just so powerful that it, you just, you don't go down as much as you would with the other two. Um, and the Asari, like the Asari, shouldn't even be using charge at all. The Asari build is mainly just to be around stasis and lift grenades. So I mean, that's a couple things to keep in mind, guys. Um, you know, the, those, those are the those are the vanguards. Like those are really the vanguards. So, hands down, the best one is the human, and the second best one would maybe be the Asari. And I only say that about the Asari is because against you know the Asari is good against servers. That that would be the main. The Asari would be definitely 
the second best against Cerberus, because the human is better for Cerberus, but the Asari would definitely, because Stasis is just too good. Um, you know, the Drell is, the Drell is pretty good, though, like, against anything else. He's, he's a good all-round And yeah, you're, you will see us right here, which is really cool. Like, you'll see us uh, decimate, decimate this mech, uh, from the Cluster Nade, and the Reed, and the Mana Explosion, that was going off. The other guy's really human and death. Yeah, that was really quick. So I mean, that's one of the beautiful things about um, about this guy. Is he can take out big enemies very quickly with the cluster name. You just gotta be careful. You know, so. And this is definitely the map for you if you're gonna try something like this. Um, yeah, a lot of people only like to play on um, you know random map, and I don't know. Like I, I do that a lot too, but a lot of the times I'll also the map. Like, certain maps I like, certain maps I don't, and uh, depending on you know the character I'm playing, playing as, you know, I might want to change some stuff for that reason. Like, if you're gonna run around with a Krogan melee, a good example is a Krogan melee on um, I'm trying to remember that name of that map, Glacier, it's the smallest map in the game. That's like that's just that's ridiculous. Like that, that is really awesome. Um, I hate this guy's melees too, by the way. Like I I I, I don't know. I, I can't. I like his like. I like his rolls, I like his like sidestepping, they're pretty good, some people, I have a couple friends who actually hate those people, they think they're really gay, but I like them, I think they're cool, they're definitely useful, but his kicks, like, I, when you play with any other character and you get used to the melee, you're not used to just kicking and, you know, roundhousing and doing all type of ninja shit, um, it, it can, you know, bring, it can really mess you up a little bit, so that's one of my beasts with this guy as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, so, you know, this gameplay is going to be, like, pretty, you know, fast-paced, pretty consistent, like I said, there's going to be a couple, like, epic fails, a couple points of me going down and stuff, but, uh, yeah, you know, I hope that this has helped, I hope that, you know, like, you guys will definitely, like, give me a like for this video, I definitely appreciate that, I really want some more comments, though, you know, because it's hard for me to, like, sort out which one, um, which character you want to see, um, you know, so in this video, I would like to see, you know, a, a comment about, you know, what you want to see. Obviously, I've just did the drill, um, the, the drill Vanguard. I already did Solarian Infiltrator. So, you know, just go ahead and leave me another comment. Tell me what else would you want to see. And if either you can like someone's comment, and if that comment gets enough likes, that would be cool. Or you can just leave a comment, and if enough people leave the same character, um, yeah, I'll do that. I mean, obviously, like, my videos don't get that many views, um, you know, just because I'm probably one of the most unluckiest people when it comes down to YouTube. Like, <laughs> like, look at that. Like, that was ridiculous how fast that was. And one of the things I hate the most in this game, uh, and someone left a comment, actually, saying, you know, I would like to, you know, when I said, you know, what do you want to see, what would you like to see, because I would like to see you pick people up. That's one reason why I don't. Um, not because, you know, not because I'm a jackass, and I will always pick up my friends and shit. Uh, randoms, not so much, because, you know, I'm not gonna go down for a random. Right there, I went down for my, you know, for my friend's side. Uh, and, you know, I, I did it because, uh, you know, I don't know, but it was terrible. <laughs> it was just absolutely ridiculous. But anyway, guys, like I was saying, uh, you know, leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to see. Hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully, like, I can get that sorted out and uh, bring you some more content. I've been recording a lot, actually, of this game, of all the different characters. Because, if, you know, when I when I get enough comments of one character, I can probably already have a gameplay lined up uh, with that character. But, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it, though, guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Please like this video. That would really help a lot. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much it. So, um, subscribe to me if you haven't already. Um, I'm going to be releasing a lot of Mass Effect 3 stuff. Um, and, yeah, so, peace out, guys.
Sensors tell me only one left. One more left! Outstanding work. Stay alert. Enemy is regrouping. Enemies approaching. Got it. Phantom! Take yourself out!
Careful. Shield down. 